Hey, what's going on? Cesar Rodriguez here. Just wanted to film a quick little video and give you a tip on prospecting. You know, a lot of times people, we tend to overthink things, right? We tend to, you know, be scared to take that first step because we don't know what to say down the road. You know, we go, well, what if it goes here? What if it goes there? What if they think this? What if they think that? So I want to give you a really quick and easy way, something that uh, a guy that ended up being, you know, one of my top producers of all time used to do when he was prospecting. And he asked me, he said, Caesar, you know, what do I do to really master this cold market? He goes, I'm scared to talk to people. I'm scared to start these conversations. So he found a really easy way to do that. And that is to stop focusing on the full conversation and just take that first baby step. And that first baby step is just saying hello to a complete stranger. So here's my tip for the day. From now on, if you're scared to start the conversation, if you're new to this whole prospecting thing and you know, you're, you're a little bit timid and you don't know what to say and what to do, here's what I want you to do. From now on, don't worry about it. Just do a little experiment. What I want you to do is to just go up to complete strangers everywhere you go, every store that you go to, every time you're in public, and just say hello and greet them enthusiastically. Just try that out. Look, don't worry about getting a number. Don't worry about prospecting. We'll get to that later on. You can watch some of my other videos on cold market prospecting or whatever. But for right now, just go up to people and just start saying hello. You know, see if there's something that you can notice and ask them a question. You know, and I'll tell you a quick story about a guy whose number I just literally pulled a, a few minutes ago, right before I pulled in here. And um, this is a really quick and easy thing to do. If you notice that you're scared and you just take that first baby step and just start going up to people and just saying, hey, how's it going? Hello, oh, nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. Great weather we got out here. Just say something little. Don't even try, don't even try to engage in the conversation. Just walk by, say hello, greet people, and here's what you're gonna notice. You'll notice that a lot of these people that you might look at and might go, oh man, they're intimidating, how they light up. You're gonna say hi to someone and they're gonna light right up and go, oh wow. You're gonna interrupt their pattern, take them out of their state, and they're gonna say hello back and they'll be very friendly about it. You'll also notice that a lot of people that you go to, they'll even stop you and ask for more information or try to start that conversation. You know, if you're move, if you're buzzing by people quick, you know, just say, hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Hey, nice day we're having, isn't it? And just real quick, just do that and just interrupt people's patterns and just you know, greet them with an awesome hello. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna number one, feel better about yourself. You're gonna realize that talking to people isn't that scary and most people are actually warm and receptive and open to it, right? And another thing that you're gonna find is some people when you go to engage them, they're gonna be so open that they're going to want to talk to you and find out why the heck you're so enthusiastic, all right? So here's an interesting thing. You know, I was just walking out of a store and I just got a, a number from a guy. Now, this is crazy. I'm walking out of his store. The guy just has a shirt that says uh, Mercer County Choppers, all right? And it's got like a motorcycle on it. So I grew up in Mercer County in New Jersey. So I said to him, as I walked by, you know, we're just crossing paths. I'm walking out of stories, walking in. And I just said, hey, is that Mercer County, New Jersey by chance? And he said, no, no, it's uh, up in Pennsylvania. It's outside of Pittsburgh. You know, I live in an area, used to live in an area, blah, blah, blah. Now he's with his wife. His wife continues to walk in the store and he just continues talking to me. And I was like, oh, well, that's cool. I grew up in Mercer County, New Jersey. And I wasn't really thinking to take the conversation any more than just beyond that question, really. Uh, but then all of a sudden he started, he kept talking and I was like, wow, this guy's really friendly. And before you knew it, uh, he starts asking, you know, we start going on and on kind of, you know, the conversation starts kind of getting longer. I was like, oh, wow, okay. And, and then he starts talking. He's like, well, and then we moved down here. You know, my wife is from this area and blah, blah, blah. And he goes, and I used to do sound technician work over. And I was like, oh, what did you used to do? And he said, oh, I was a sound engineer. I was like, oh, interesting. And then you moved down here. And he goes, yeah, yeah I moved down here because my wife. And then I ran this club. And he mentioned this club. It's very popular. And he goes, I worked there for five years. I was, you know, managing it for one. I said, wow, you must know a whole lot of people. Now, at this point, I'm starting to think, okay, this guy's a really open, talkative person, doesn't know a stranger. Heck, I just said something to him about his shirt and he literally stopped his track, turned around, started walking towards me to start this conversation. You know, we shook hands and then we just started going on and on. And he was just so open and just such a cool, down to earth guy. And I was like, gosh, this is amazing. So, um, so inevitably the question of course comes to, he mentions that he's now a paramedic and uh, he's doing that. And then of course the question is, he goes, so what do you do? So I mentioned what I do, but I didn't even say anything really sexy or, you know, captivating, but I did say this one little thing. I said, well, you know, I do this, that, and the other with this type of company. And then I just said, and, um, and you know, part of what I do is I do hiring. So I just threw that out there to see what would happen. And guess what, man, did he bite all over it. He goes, really? You do hiring? He goes, well, look, I mean, I know it's probably not in my field, but you know, I I'll tell you what, you know, my wife and I were both in the public service 
industry so you know we, we really don't make a lot of money and you know money's always a problem in our household and that's something that we're really looking to change so he goes I don't know if you can do anything about this but he starts to walk to his car and he goes but I'd like to give you my card maybe you can call me and I mean I don't know what you do there with your company or you know but I'm a fast learner and he literally starts selling himself to me like completely you know so it was so fascinating because he grabs me gives me his card and he literally goes look I've got my cell phone on me 24 7 because obviously I'm a paramedic he goes you know give me a call anytime I always answer I'm very interested you know I definitely want to learn more about what you're doing and, and maybe see if there's something that we can do because we're definitely interested in making money and I just thought holy smokes and here we are we make such a big deal about prospecting and talking to people and oh my gosh and you know what is the perfect lines well it just goes to show you you can't say the wrong thing to the right person and the right people are out there and they're waiting for you to greet them they're waiting for you to change their lives with your unbelievable opportunity and you might just be one hello one comment on someone's shirt or their apparel from literally being able to change their lives you know we have the best industry we're in the best industry we've got the best possible answer to some of the biggest problems out there people are not having enough time with their families they're struggling money's an issue in their homes and we literally have a solution and we're over here trying to rack our brains on how to deliver that here's what I'm telling you just go out there and say something to people say hello don't worry about starting a conversation just make a commitment to be one of the most charismatic people in your vicinity at all times and you'll be amazed with how things happen and what things turn into all right so that's my tip for the day if you want more training on cold market prospecting be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel take a look through some of my videos if you haven't seen them already and be sure to subscribe to my blog as well and definitely as a bonus for doing so if you haven't already seen it you'll get access to one of my best courses it's my free prospecting lead generation closing and leadership training series called heavy hitter bootcamp check out the testimonials on it it's ridiculous but I look forward to having you go through that course if you haven't already subscribe to my channel so we can stay in touch take care I'm Cesar Rodriguez and make it a great day